Father, we thank you for your mercies. We've come together to thank you for your goodness. We're so grateful for who you are to us. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. In all my days, I've been held in your hand. The moment that I wake up, until I lay morning, my morning, head, morning, morning. oh, I will see of the goodness of God. So, so good. Dance, worship, and every breath that I am able. Miley, Larry, oh, good to see you, bro. Miss Robin. The goodness of God. Cynthia Jones, Sonia, Nancy, good morning. I love Tanya Ivory. Michelle Candice, you are close like no other. Lonnie, I've known you as a father, I've known you as a friend, and I have lived in the goodness of God. Angie, Come on, can you sing that dance all Cindy, my life? All my Amy, Paul the Prophet, Ronald, Josephine. Joseph, Patricia, Patricia, Lisa, Sarah, Ella, Sandra, good morning, y'all. Y'all come on in. Share it if you can. Invite somebody to come be with us. You'll get it at 12 noon me, Pacific Standard Time. What's up, downtown Gina? Come on in here. Of the goodness of 
today would you sit with us father would you lead and guide us show yourself strong in jesus name amen good morning good morning good morning ah that song has been blessing us for so for so long i just love that song so i'm just so thankful for our opening song um we've been on a journey together y'all for a long time we almost nine months into this thing, almost 200 episodes. Uh, I had a time. Um, yo, party tonight, you will get the email. We're dropping it at 12 noon. So at 12 noon, we're dropping the link, sending the link out. If you don't get it at 12 noon, if it's after that time, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, by the way, if you don't get it, um, then, then you can feel free to inbox and we'll, we'll share it freely. So don't worry anything about missing, missing out. Um, feel free to inbox me if you don't have it by this evening, but at 12 noon, because we want to give everybody time to subscribe. So subscribe, subscribe, go get it. If you've already subscribed, it'll come to you automatically, but we're dropping the email. We're dropping the link at. 12 noon we're dropping the link at 12 noon so um so we got that going on today it's hard to say it out loud i struggle to say it out loud but today is the last good news today of 2020 this is this is the last one of 2020 this will be the culmination of our time together this year um however I will be back January, uh, that first Monday in January. I believe it's January 3rd or 4th or something like that. Uh, but I was praying about it and I was like, man, I just need to check out and take a break. We've been uh, just saying 200 episodes out loud it makes me even more tired. <laughs> but I want to take some time to reboot, reboot reflect, uh, and get that up. There you go, LaRosa. LaRosa, did you get my message? Um, um, so, but I want to encourage you, but I got a word for you today. Yes, I'm back in 2021. I am back. Uh, so I'm going to take a good break and I'm going to be back ready to snatch edges at the top of the year. Uh, well, our goal is to snatch righteous mind, um, your righteous mind, not your edges, but I'm gonna come for the edges too. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm gonna be coming for you in top of the year. So we're gonna get you through 2021. We're gonna, we're gonna start it off right. Um, but I want to give you a word today and tonight. I, I gotta find a way to record. Um, I'll see if I can record tonight. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm give y'all a word. I got a word for tonight. So we're gonna party, we're gonna turn up, and I've got a blessing. Uh, I've got a benediction for you. Um, I'll, I'll give part of the benediction today, but I'm gonna give a benediction tonight. Um, that'll be a blessing. So uh, my goal is to just do like around an hour. We're not gonna, we gotta, I'm not trying to be on there all night, 
but I do have, we got some surprises. We got some elements. It's, it's going to be an intense hour. So I'm trying to figure out how I can get it all in, in an hour and how I can get it all in in an hour. Um, but so we got that. <laughs> Elaine, you funny. I was wondering what you were laughing at. Um, so, so we got that tonight. So tonight is a really big deal. Just go to albertate.com, sign up for tonight. It's going to be powerful, powerful, powerful. Yeah, it's, it's going to be really good. And I'm calling it the benediction, uh, the benediction. Um, our services the next few weeks, <clears throat> you really don't want to miss. Uh, we got Christmas Eve coming up and then I got the last message of the year. Um, you don't, you don't want to miss that. You don't want to miss that. I'll record it. I'll record the zoom. I just got to figure out, I'll record that. We'll record the zoom for sure. We'll record it. Um, but if you can be in the room, be in the room. Cause I got to figure out how to, maybe I can email it out to you. The team will figure it out, but be in the room tonight. Last, uh, um, last <clears throat> service of the year. You don't want to miss it. Christmas Eve services, you don't want to miss it. We don't have a drive up Christmas Eve service. It's all online, but yo, can I tell you, it's going to be amazing. Uh, yes, La Rosa, yes. Um, it's going to be uh, amazing. So check that out. We st so, so knowing that this is the last episode of the year, I've been just reflecting on our time together, y'all. Um, and I just want to say thank you. We... Um, Oh my goodness, yo, we've had a time. When I tell you God has met us in these virtual spaces, I, there's a lot of questions about where the church is going and where we're headed next and what that looks like and what its gatherings look like and what the meetings look like. And we got a lot to figure out praying about that and just discerning. Uh, every pastor friend I have is trying to figure out what that looks like and what that would be. Um, <clears throat> but I, but I pursue that with a sense of peace um, because let me tell you something, God can meet you wherever you're available. And if that, and if that's on a zoom, if that's on a screen, God says, if you just open up your heart, I'll show up. And not only will I show up, but I'll show out. So, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm a believer in this space. I'm a believer in the table that we've created together here, where we've just been practicing having hard conversations, practicing stirring one another up, uh, practicing spurring one another along. Um, I really feel like we got a big old dinner table, uh, a big old just table, family table, and we sit down at this family table we get the word of God, we get drama, we get a couple of inappropriate comments, and we put it all at the table. And um, we just invite the Lord to have his way. And I feel like that's what's been happening with us for about 200 and something episodes. Uh, so, I, um, so I'm really excited about what the Lord has done and looking forward to coming back in 2021 with some intentionality to continue to keep expanding the table so we can keep growing, inviting other folks to the table, get better at it. Um, but also so we can keep, um, keep um, in pushing one another towards godliness. Keep, um, keep reminding us, us that God is the goal, period. I woke up this morning and it was one word on my heart and it was grace. It was grace. Um, I feel like God has given us a grace. Um, he gave us a grace to walk in 2020. Um, he, he gave us a grace to navigate 2020. Um, and, and I just want to remind you, there's a grace on your life. There's a grace on your life. God has given us the gift of grace. So whereas... God desires to give us a gift of grace. Satan uses a strategy of disgrace. Oh, did y'all thought y'all thought these were just platitudes? No, 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 no. I'm coming for your edges. I, I still, I still got a word. It, it God desires to gift us grace. 
Satan strategizes in disgrace. So Satan's strategy is to have you walking in disgrace. Disgrace. Satan's strategy is for you to not see and experience and walk in the grace of God that he's already given you. And he uses a strategy of disgrace so that you will literally diss the grace of God that's on your life. You will, he, he desires to have you dissing his grace. Uh, diss is a word back in the late 80s, early 90s, we cultivated. It's a shortened version of disrespect. So his strategy is to have you to disrespect the grace of God that's on your life. And the biggest district, the biggest way you disrespect the grace of God that's on your life is to simply not walk in it, to not walk in the grace that's on your life. He's giving you a grace to walk in, but for you to, I mean, to fully disrespect it, don't walk in it. Grace, 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 that that you don't deserve, but there's also a divine enablement. you got a grace to do it. There's that, a, a grace. you got a, uh, uh, that there's an empowerment. There, there, there's a divine enablement to do it. There, there's a grace to do it. So, so God has provided for you and I a divine enablement to be who he's called us to be, to do what he's called us to do. But if you don't, but if you walk in disgrace, if you disrespect that grace that he's called you to walk in, you will miss it in this season. So number one, I want us to celebrate the gift of God's grace. Number two, <clears throat> I want us to call out the strategy of Satan's strategy of disgrace. Don't you walk in shame. Don't you walk in disgrace. Don't use the end of this year to count up your failures and to lament and your failures and what you didn't get right. No, I need you to see because that's his strategy. Because if you focus on your failures, you, you, you're walking in the disgrace. You're dissing the grace of God. Don't diss the grace. Don't diss the grace. When you sit down and when you think about 2020, you don't diss the grace. You count the grace. You don't diss, you don't diss the grace. You count the grace. You look and see all the grace that has shown up in this season and in your life. You look and see all the grace that God has provided for you in this season. Start counting the grace of God. Don't diss his grace, count his grace. God has got a grace for you. In order for you to celebrate the grace, count the grace of God. Don't diss the grace. Oh, for grace. Oh, for grace. Jude, Jude chapter 1, verse 24. It's how, it's how I want you to walk in the, this blessing that God, this grace, this blessing that God placed on us. It says, now to him who is able to keep us from falling, keep us from stumbling, and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy. Y'all see that joy? Uh -huh. To the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, now and forevermore. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the glorious presence without fault and with great joy. That's where we go to. That's the benediction. That's what we pronounce over you. We look to the one that is able to keep us from falling because he's given us a grace. We look to the one that's able to present us faultless because his presence, because we're in his presence. So he's, he, oh man, do you see what he's doing? Do you see what he's doing? He's saying, I'm gonna present you faultless and I'm gonna present you with great joy. 
well, how am I going to be faultless when I know I've done something wrong? And how am I going to have great joy when I know that um, that all hell's breaking loose? Babe, did you, uh, Larissa, did you get my message? Yes, I, I do want it. Um, how, how are you going, how, how are you going to do that? Because, because you've been in his presence and it is in his presence that he has the opportunity to present you, uh, thoughtless. Uh, okay. it, it is, it is in his presence that he's able to present you thoughtless. Um, that's how he's able, that's how he's able to do it. So I, so I think um, what, what I, what I want to pronounce over you, yes, coffee, yes, Gina, y'all got it. I was trying to signal, uh, yes, I need my coffee so I can wake up. Um, uh, <laughs> so, so I guess as we go into this year, I want you to begin to sit in and think about, uh, <laughs> y'all funny, um, the grace of God and what the grace of God does with the grace. Yes. Thank you. Lord, also. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Oh, I forgot to do the thing song. I forgot. You right. I just got, a, I got right on into this thing. I got all, I got right into this thing. I forgot to drop the hot fire. I'll close with, I'll give it to you. I, I got, I got plenty of hot fire to give you tonight. Um, so I want you to spend the days, man. Th this is what I plan to do. I plan this. <laughs> I plan to spend the days counting the grace. Counting the grace. I love the song. It says, oh, for grace to trust him more. Remember when we talked about that? We hit, we hit that this year. This this year. Um, oh, for grace to trust him more. Oh, for grace to trust him more. I'm reading some of y'all's comments. <laughs> the, the trust him more means the more I get grace, man, the more I trust him. The more I count grace, the more I, the more it shapes me and the more I love him and the more I trust him, the more I see his grace, you will be tempted to count losses. And we don't disregard losses. Come on, y'all know how we roll. We don't ignore losses. We don't walk into, in a sense of denial of, of losses. No, we can, we can acknowledge losses, but we ain't about to use the last of 2020 counting losses. We gonna we gonna count grace. We gonna count up the grace. We gonna we gonna count up the many ways that God has blessed us. And 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 as twenty twenty closes, we gonna lift our hands and say, "Now unto Him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless with great joy." We go. We're looking now unto Him. Now unto him, because in him, he presents us faultless. So we make a beeline to his presence. We make a beeline to his presence. And we invite that God. That now unto him is, is an invitation. It says, now, Lord, we look to you. We look to you to present us faultless, to present us faultless and help us be who God's called us to be. So I pray grace on you. I pray the benediction, the blessing, and, 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 and it's the benediction and it's the blessing of this year, the blessing on your life, 2020, now unto him who is able. He is able, he is able. Don't you let anything in your circumstances, in your situation, dictate or direct or make you think any any part of him is not able. He is able. Now unto him who is able. He is a, oh, I'm getting anointed. I, I that that that's hit me right there. Now unto him who is able. Y'all, he is able. 
I don't care where you are. I don't care where you're going through. Receive it and believe it, Robert. I love it. He is able. Somebody needs to see that because some of you are believing God for big things. Some of you are dreaming and you're praying. Some of you are hoping. Some of you are hoping that despair won't overtake you. And I need you to say this. I need you to see it. I need you to get it in your spirit. He is able. Now unto him who is able, he is able. Ah, uh, put it in the comments. Somebody needs to read it. Somebody needs to see it because those words are speaking to your situation. It's speaking to your circumstance. Watch this. And it's also speaking to your dreams. It's also speaking to your vision. Some of you are sitting in here with vision this time a year from now. Ooh, you're going to be walking in it unlike you've ever imagined because you believe that he is able. I got concerns about me being able. I got concerns about my bank account being able. I got concerns about my team being able, but I tell you, I ain't got not now concern. Y'all hear that com my Southern common vernacular coming in. I ain't got not now concern about him being able now unto him that let's turn now unto him and this is the qualifier this is his resume now unto him who is able i ain't turning to now to, to i'm saying now unto him who may be able to do something i ain't saying now unto him who's possibly now i'm not saying now unto him who may be i'm not saying now unto him who sometimes can no i'm saying now unto him who is able, he is able. Oh, I hear y'all shouting it at me. I hear I hear y'all saying it back to me. I hear you shout. I, I hear y'all declaring it. Now unto him who is able. I can hear you chant in my spirit. I can hear y'all. Some of you sitting at your work desk, you're sitting at your house, you're sitting, walking, exercising. You just need to say it. He is Able, watch this, watch this, watch this. There's another big word in there. There's another big word in there. There's another, now unto him who is able, who is able. Come on, y'all see it in there. Y'all helping me preach. Come on, uh, uh, Berta, Berta, uh, she is redeemed. Y'all helping me preach. I is able, huh? That's a big deal because some of y'all, is in a situation. Some of y'all is in circumstances. Some of y'all is in places where you need it right now. You don't need he who was able. You don't need he who will be able. I'm telling you, we looking now. Listen to the emphatic current reality. The, the, it's not when. When is he able? Now. Now unto him who is able y'all he is able he 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 is able oh yeah he is able some of you are in a is situation you you is got a problem but i'm telling you he is able i want you to be encouraged don't you let 2020 uh, the, uh, still experiencing loss after loss still experiencing getting text message about family members who are, who are gone on, who've gone on, who've gone on to be with the Lord. Got a call last night, cousin, gone on, been with the Lord. Woke up this morning, uh, Bishop Iona Locke uh, in the black church. She's a legendary preacher, one of the, one of the, uh, just one of the greatest preachers of a generation, passed away, gone on to be with the Lord. He is able. He is able. God is saying, back up, see the whole board. He back up, see the whole board. He's he's able, even in the midst of loss, he is able. Even in the midst of hard times, he is able. Even in the midst of discouragement, he is able. Even in the midst of a pandemic, he is 
able, even in the midst of sickness and despair, he is able. Even in the midst of job loss, he is able. In the midst of food insecurity, he is able. In the midst of my husband acting like he didn't lost his ever loving mind, he is able. In the midst of a, a, a wife who's struggling to stay focused in the man, he is able in the midst of kids that are finding their way ah he is able i'm telling you i don't care what the devil's trying to throw at you we not gonna diss the grace of god we not gonna diss the grace of god i ain't about to walk in disgrace i'm about to walk in this grace i'm gonna walk in this grace there's a grace on my life to navigate storms and crises. There's a grace. I ain't about to disgrace. I ain't about to walk in disgrace. I'm about to walk in this grace. I'm about to walk in this grace. I'm about to walk, I'm walking in hard times in this grace. Why you ain't gave up yet? Why you ain't quit? Well, cause I'm walking, I got a grace on me. I got a grace on me that's anointed me to walk through hell, that's anointed me to walk through high water, that's anointed me to walk on demons, that's anointed me to walk in devastation. I got a grace on my life that's anointed me to walk through a rough marriage, that's anointed me to walk through economic trials, that's anointed me to walk through layoffs, it's anointed me to walk through job job trials and tribulation. I got a grace on me. That's why I haven't given up. That's why I haven't lost my mind. That's why I haven't thrown in the towel. That's why I ain't cussed you out because I got a gr grace. I got a grace on me. So I'm not about to walk in disgrace. I'm not about to disrespect. See, the same strategy wants me to not walk in what God has provided, but I'm walking in every grace. How did you make it through 2020? I, ha I got a grace on me. I got a grace on me. You ain't see it. You ain't see it. I got a grace on me. Girl, how did you overcome that? I got a grace on me. See, what y'all don't see, I'm going through something right now, but I, I'm walking in the grace on it. Some of you walking through it right now. You're shopping for Christmas and wiping tears down your eyes because you got stuff going on that other folks can't even see, but you got a grace on you. You got a grace on you. So I want you to celebrate the grace. I want you to count the grace, and I want you to walk in the grace. And whenever you feel like you're about to give up, I need you to go now unto him who's able. Now unto him who's able to keep us from falling and present us faultless. To him, to the only wise God, our savior, be glory and majesty and power forever. For all ages, now and evermore. We gonna party tonight. I got a word for y'all tonight. But count the grace of God. Count the grace of God. I'm gonna close with this. I usually jump off at 30 after, but this is the last one of the year. So I'm going to take a little liberty here. Um, I think the now unto him, you, you kind of got to look at it as a as an invitation. And I come back to this, is this, and this has been an anchor for us this year, because here it is. Can I just remind y'all, God is the goal, period. God is the goal, period. And if you get God, you get the grace, you get the peace, you get it all. So God, God is the goal, period, and God's gift has been grace, period. God is the goal, period, and, and the gift that God has been trying to get to you is his grace, period. And you can put a period behind the grace of God because once you get that, you don't need nothing else. God is the goal, period. So it, the idea is that you would provide an invitation for, 
for him just to shape you and mold you to invite him in to breathe on you every day this is the benediction this is our invitation Lord breathe on me Take your place inside of us. If you do that, God, you ain't got to do nothing else. You ain't got to do nothing else. If you breathe on me, Lord, you don't have to do nothing else. This is the benediction. I speak this over you. Invite the Lord to breathe on us. Let your spirit overwhelm Jesus, breathe on us. Fill our souls with your peace and heart with things. Come crown us with your everlasting joy and gladness. Just breathe on us. That's my 2020 benediction. It's an invitation for the spirit of the living God to overflow as I surrender. God is the goal, period. family. It's been an amazing year. It's been a great joy and pleasure to walk it with you. We didn't do it by ourselves. We got through 2020 together. And by his grace, Lord willing, we'll see you tonight and then we'll see you in 2021. Mark with the invitation to the spirit of the living God to breathe on us. Now unto him who is able to keep you from stumbling and from falling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy to the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, now and forevermore. Breathe on us. Between now and the new year, count us grace. Count us grace. And walk in this grace, not this grace. Everything's going to be okay, y'all. 
Six o'clock tonight. Six o'clock tonight, Pacific Standard Time. Email link comes out at 12 o'clock. Yo, turn my mic up. Y'all ain't see this coming. Get ready to catch this. Come to snatch your righteous mind, not your edges. God is the goal, and then there's the period. This thing is real. Whoop, child, we serious. Intentional, the original. God is in control. Do it for your soul. Gotta let the whole world know. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all. God bless y'all. We out. <laughs>